Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, we're going to show you how to export a video for Instagram in 2019. So the newest trend is a 4x5 video like this one here. And the main reason is because Square video, even though it's uh, it's nice, but it doesn't cover your screen as much as possible. And you can't do like a 9x16 on your normal Instagram feed. So the maximum you can go is like a 4x5. Uh, which is the better uh, way to go. So let's go into Premiere Pro. So here I have another video that I've made. Uh, I've gotten the latest Adam Shinobi monitor. So I've got a video of that out also on my Instagram feed. Also make sure to uh, follow me on Instagram. So first we're going to make a new sequence. So we go to sequence here and settings. We're going to change this, of course, to custom because we want to customize it. Time base, make sure we are either on 24 or 25. The main reason is because the bitrate is per second. So each time or if you have more frames going on, you are going to have like every individual frame have like a less bitrate use. So or like becomes more compressed. So you want to have either 24 or 25, which doesn't have that extreme of compression, which uh, would result in much better quality. And frame size, we're going to change this to 864. And this is 1080. So this will make a four times five video. This be square, everything is okay here. Um, can change this to GoPro Cineform, which for me personally, I find it's best for like, if you have uh, like heavy effects going on. And now press okay. So this is like a nice four by five timeline. So we we'll go back to this one. And when we render it out, go to export media. Here we are going to change some of the settings or just follow these settings. So frame rate, of course, because my timeline is 25, is just keeps it on 25. Now, when we go down, we want to go to the bit rate. I have a VRB pause, one pause, a 5.5 megabytes per second bit rate on both of them. And on audio, use these settings. And that is basically it. And of course, I also have like a render preset. So you can go to the link in the description below and download it. And afterwards, press here, import preset to import the preset. So you have this into your list. So you can just quickly select it to have like your export setting instead of having to manually change it every time. So that was it. Hope you guys found this a very useful video. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below. Also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.